Greetings and welcome back to Banished. Alright. Um, I forgot what I was actually doing. I wasn't really doing much, was I? I was just uh, waiting for uh, people to become adults so that I can assign them to do jobs. We also had uh, an issue here where we don't have enough iron. Oh yeah, I was still building this house that I had to pause before it was completed. Because I gotta do something. <laughs> I can't build uh, much else. I'm also waiting for this. Uh, we're getting close now to seven cows. Oh yeah, and we're also keeping an eye on the amount of food that we have. It is uh, fairly, well... I was gonna say stable, but <laughs> not quite. It is getting drained uh, quite a lot now. But we got the extra laborers, so let's uh, put someone in the hunting blind. Why not? Of course, it's gonna put him right here. Let's do that. Okay, that'll work. The hunting blind does uh, supply me with uh, a bunch of ducks, so hopefully that works out. Now we only have one extra laborer left, I'm gonna leave him there in case someone dies, which is uh, pretty much inevitable. Now, yeah, I'm just uh, waiting it out. Well, no, we got an extra labor. So it's going quick now, as I... As I anticipated. Where do we put you? Something is making noise here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh, let's first put you... in the gatherer set. Okay, hopefully that's fixed. Seems like the cord of my mouse was tangled around something that was making noise. Uh, right. And someone died. Okay, the tailor died. And... I'm gone. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, never mind. It's not done yet. Uh, what do we do with the rest? I mean, as in other people that we need to assign a job to. We got, uh, well, I guess I'm gonna leave the tailor as it is. Wait. Oh, it's the forester that wasn't replaced. The tailor was, but uh, we have plenty of cloth, so let's get rid of you. And let's put you in the forester's lodge. Can go chop down some trees, because... Reasons. <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't really matter where. Uh, we have... A full supply of firewood so um, yeah let's uh, stockpile more in here I also bought a whole bunch of fire bundles which also count as few I would guess so I'm not sure where they went maybe they're still oh yeah here they are so did people pick those up at all No. Okay, well. So yeah, now things are going quickly. Which is good. Oh, the house. Okay, it's building. So I'm gonna wait until it's about, I don't know, 70-80%. Uh, then I'm gonna pause it. 80% seems good. And I sort of want to see if I can get the builder to just go away when I press pause. Okay, he's building now. Also, in the meantime, keeping an eye on my food. It is uh, not dropping anymore. That's good. Alright, there we go. 80%. Pause. Go away. Okay, he goes away. Good, that's nice. We got a half-finished building that can be finished fairly quickly if I want it. And uh, I want it back here because we do have 
a three herdsmen, two butchers, and a vendor living here. So, and a candle maker. What's it called? Something with candle, probably. Where is the C? Chandler. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense. Still, I don't know why it's called a chandlery, seeing as this person makes candles and not chandeliers. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, what's next? We got three laborers. Interesting. What do we do with you people? We need more food, apparently. It is still dropping. Let's uh, put someone on the fishing docks. Let's put someone in. No, we don't need to butcher any cows just yet. Let's put someone in the gatherer's hut as well. Or another hunter, perhaps. Yeah, let's get another hunter. There we go. Hopefully this uh, fixes things, so... I gotta make sure that this food doesn't drop too drastically, because that would be bad. Now, of course, I got rid of all my laborers. I just uh, let's use the builder since I'm not building anything at all. Oh, and we got some young people living here. So the uh, old stone cutter died. Okay, this is bad. Got a fisherman living here. <laughs> He's gonna go all the way down here. And we have a trader. More cloths. Okay, I'll take him. Uh, 160, so we need. 40 firewood and let's get rid of you I don't know why uh, I keep getting the traders with cloths maybe it's because I keep on buying it I don't know <laughs> oh well luckily I have two trading posts so I got uh, twice the amount of chance of getting some seeds but uh, for now I've uh, only been getting livestock no seeds at all so that's a bit unfortunate Soon enough I'm gonna unpause this, I think in another year or so. But yeah, we got a lot of young people living here, so we'll be getting a bunch more children, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm not gonna unpause it. We're still doing good. And I don't wanna end up with any generations that'll die in a time span of about uh, ten years. Because that would be as drastic as the first generation that we had. Well the first and the second one. Still, sometimes it's uh, just inevitable. For example, we got uh, one student here that could go move out. Actually, 19 students? Could they stay student until 20? I sort of never checked it out. I assumed that it was 16. I guess it's 20. So 10 years as a child, 10 years as a student. Maybe that got changed. Because I assumed that it was uh, 10 years as a child and 6 years as a student. And uh, now he's a laborer. Okay, so it is 10 and 10. That's good to know. So, seeing as they became a laborer at 20 and they died around 80, we need about uh, 4 times, well, uh, 3 times the amount of adults as we have uh, children and students combined that is to uh, stay break even so that way population would average out to be the same but uh, of course we do want growth so it has to be a bit bigger as long as i don't have more students and adult uh, students and uh, children than adults i think we should be fine for now it seems decent 27 versus 16 but it's still uh, quite a lot. Uh, we do have uh, two laborers now. Uh, where do we put you? Okay, my food is going down drastically. I gotta fix that. Uh, let's get another gatherer. Uh, do we have cows yet? Maybe. Let's put someone in here. Right. So maybe we got a lot of mounts to feed. That's sort of the problem. Luckily I still have some expansion room, but... Uh, this gatherer's hut probably can't get that much anymore. 
No, no, wait. I want the hunting blinds operational. Okay, there we go. So, um, yeah, apparently this is not enough to supply my people with food. That's odd. I got no laborers now to do stuff. Oh yeah, and I got no tailor, but I don't need one at the moment. So, um, who can we get to do some other job? We don't have a lot of people left, even though... Uh, well, yeah, okay, a uh, channel guy. Probably got a whole bunch of uh, candles now, so... I've got one extra laborer. Uh, food is going up slightly. I guess I'm gonna wait it out until I see it going up more. Yeah, it always goes up and down, up and down, so I gotta be careful. But I don't exactly need candles anytime soon, but it's good to have them either way. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, we got a, a nice amount. So I certainly will have enough candles to make a deep mine or a deep quarry if I want to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want my people to starve. We already have uh, enough dead people on the cemetery. I think it might work. Still got a little bit of room left. The hunting cabin, the gatherer's hut. And we gotta hope that these cows... Actually, we lost the cow. That shouldn't happen. It should just stay on the maximum amount and just uh, slaughter the extra cow. I really thought that we had seven, maybe not. Oh, oh wrong button. Uh, we actually have fish down here, that's odd. Food is going up, but as I said, I gotta wait until the next winter to see if it effectively worked. In the meantime, let's take a look. Uh, is everything... Well, I think we have enough firewood down here for now. That'll be good. And have those fire bundles been used yet? I'm not seeing them anymore, so I guess they are. They're probably already gone. Okay. We got a lot of reeds. How did I get that many reeds? Another trader, linen and marble statue. I'm gonna buy the linen, I'm gonna leave the statue. So we need uh, six firewood. And there we go. What else do you have? All sorts of stuff. I wonder if I can sell reeds. Well, no, that's not. I uh, might need it all for rope. So let's just uh, dismiss this guy. Don't need your statues. Got other things to worry about, but the food is going up, that's great, so we will not be starving. Not now, anyway. It was a little bit tricky. Once all of this gets working properly, I'm uh, probably gonna be adding a few pastures uh, of the same animal type. pork is going. It should be going to the pig butcher, but I think people are just uh, taking it and bringing it to their house. There's a bunch of bison meat here, so that's not ideal. So yeah, that, that's sort of annoying. <laughs> I should just leave it for the butcher. 
Yeah, people just pick up bison meat and then uh, the bison butcher doesn't have enough to butcher. Oh well. Okay, food is uh, really going up now. That's good. And what about these families? I got a few old people still, but that's all right. We always need some old people because we need people to die. Well, we don't need them to die, but and we're gonna have the uh, whole old with the old with the old in with the new type of thing. And I assume these guys will be uh, the next ones to go. I don't need this house just yet. We still only have one laborer, so it seems like the students are taking their time. I think from now on expansion will be a little faster. Especially since all my people have steel tools, speaking of that. Well, uh, the smithy is still working. We are hovering at around the same amount of tools that we had for a while now. So I'm not sure if it is because he can't get the end of supplies or if he just can't keep up with demand. I'm gonna need more miners, that way I can switch around between coal and iron more often. Uh, but I'm gonna wait for people to become adults. I think uh, the next person is going to become a miner. I seem to have the food situation under control. Also, my health went up again. Despite the fact that I didn't have a herbalist, also the amount of herbs that I have is the same. So I'm guessing that the only way for people to use herbs is to go to a herbalist. Unless they require those herbs and need like a uh, hospital. I guess we could uh, build an apothecary. I totally butchered that word. <laughs> uh, eventually, when I don't have enough people. Okay, we got a, an extra laborer. Let's put you in the mines. Okay, they both live here. That's good. And uh, it does look like eventually, finally, the uh, fisherman went to live someplace else. That's good. And yeah, it's all about um, management at this point. Obviously, I guess you are very much aware that there's not a lot of action going on in this game, so you know what you're looking at. <laughs> Just think about what I can build next. And I know I have plenty of unoccupied buildings, but I'll be getting a lot more people soon. So, yeah, I was thinking about that the cheese. Where is it? Yeah, here we go, the diary. So, it's actually pretty big. And it can have roads all around it, that's pretty nice. So, we possibly build it around here. I was gonna build pastures here, so maybe not. that's not ideal. What about in the back, next to the uh, chandlery? Yeah, let's do it. Of course, we got no builders, so... It's gonna take a long time for this to build. <laughs> I 
gonna wait for one new person to arrive, uh, well, to become an adult. I always want to keep one laborer in the reserve. Oh, well, there we go. Well, it does look like our uh, part-time laborers uh, went ahead and got rid of all the, all the trees. I guess the part-time laborers are these guys, because they got nothing to do. Unfortunately, because people keep stealing all the raw resources. Stupid people. <laughs> I wonder if I should move the meat locker someplace else, like further away from them. Let's see. Could also build a new storage barn. Well, no, that's a bit drastic, isn't it? Uh, meat locker. you all the way down here far away from those houses that might work Let's see we got that dude and how much space for oh well, that's nice we could still build some extra houses here so i am gonna build it here because it's annoying that means that the these butchers have nothing to do, which is bad. Well, I guess it could help if I build uh, another edible cart next to these guys, so that they go and collect their food from that. We do have uh, three houses here, so I guess it would be possible. Let's go and do that. I know the edible scar isn't exactly... You know what? Screw it. Let's build a, a better trade market. Because I'll be having a lot more buildings here eventually. Uh, let's see. Trade. No, wait. That's not it. So, central market, rural market. Maybe rural market could work. It's a little big. Small market. It's a bit smaller, obviously. Something like this. Then we have a road going that way as well. Eventually. Yeah, let's just build it. Why not? Uh, let's add in an extra builder. How's my iron supply going? We got two people here now, so the output should be doubled. Well, we got a lot of uh, adults now. Hopefully uh, they all don't die again. <laughs> uh, I guess we could use... Well, no, the clots still seem fine. Uh, I think I just missed out on a trader. Oh well. Let's hope that he didn't have seeds. Right, I was gonna... We don't have a lot of children anymore. I'm gonna end pause this one. Let's get another builder. Uh, food is going up nicely. Maybe even uh, too much. Uh, let's get rid of... One person in the fishing dock. And we will put you... Put you where? Well, let's turn you into a tailor for now. Oh wait, that's right. I uh, did upgrade this building. And now we have a whole bunch of stuff that we can make. If we had the, the resources anyway. So at the moment we have leather. And we have... Well, uh, feathers and reeds. I would assume that... A buff coat from a cured leather would be better. We would rather need to make cured leather. So, you know, oh, well, uh, the miner died. No surprise. But, yeah, uh, we should be having a building for that to uh, cure leather someplace. Tannery, yeah, that's the one. Uh, but we need salt for that, so before we can make this, we need a salt works. 
that's not it. Uh, no, I think it's under all the mines. Yeah, there we go, salt works. And for that we need lumber, or timber, well, uh, this one, lumber, yeah. So we need someone in the saw pit. So I'm not gonna start with that yet. Let's just uh, get this person to make hide coats from leather. Actually, I just use my only laborer. Let's get rid of one of the builders. Oh yeah, I did build this one, so we'll get rid of this meat locker. And see if that works. And we got this house. Two young people. Because I did notice that we have less students and children. I want to keep that uh, a little bit balanced. Okay, anyway, gonna be the end of this episode, so thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.